God says, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let me pray for you now, God, and fill me with the assurance that you are with me every step of the way. In the valley of financial challenges, I will not fear, for you are by my side. Your rod and staff bring me comfort and protection. Rebuke every spirit of lack, scarcity, and financial struggle in my life. Break the chains that have hindered my financial growth and release me into a season of abundance and overflow. Prepare a table before me in the presence of my financial adversaries. Overflow my cup with your blessings, my Lord. Anoint my mind with divine wisdom and creativity to make sound financial decisions. Let the oil of your favour flow over me, causing doors of opportunity to open and blessings to abound. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I declare that financial breakthroughs, favour and divine connections will pursue me relentlessly. Your goodness and mercy will manifest in every area of my financial life. I choose to dwell in your house, O Lord, forever. I commit my financial journey into your hands. Lead me to paths of abundance, prosperity and financial freedom. Grant me the wisdom to be a faithful steward of the resources you entrust to me. As I embrace the promises of Psalm 23, I believe that you are already aligning circumstances and orchestrating divine appointments for my financial well-being. I surrender my worries and anxieties to you, knowing that you are my ultimate provider. May every spirit of poverty, misery, struggle, difficulty and scarcity be removed at this moment. May your blessings, O God, be present in every day of my life, leading me from glory to glory from victory to victory, and granting me a time of plenty, abundance, and prosperity in all areas of my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing my prayer. I receive your blessings of prosperity and financial help with gratitude and faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. Do you believe? Say out loud, I believe and glory to God. But if it's not possible at the moment, write it below in the comments. Likewise, also write down your prayer requests and leave your like as a form of gratitude. May the grace of the Lord cover you and accompany you wherever you go. In Jesus' name, Amen. And until the next videos, God bless you. Dear children of God, in the third letter of John, chapter 2, it is written that you are hungry for financial growth. I believe that this is the appointed time by God for you to prosper to the point of having abundance, even to land and share with your family and friends. May everyone around you be blessed and join you in this chain of prayer. They will see and thank you for sending this prayer. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. 
He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Remember that God wants you to prosper, because he knows that you are someone who will also bless the people around you, as it is written in Psalm 105, verse 24. I prophesy that from now on, all your difficulties will be transformed into testimonies, and all obstacles in your path will become steps towards your success, growth, advancement, honour and glory of God. Amen.